Hi guys, welcome to Who Am I to Review. Here I am going to review the newly released movie Khuda Hafiz starring Vidya Jambal and Shivalika Obroy released on 14th August on Disney Hotstar. Khuda Hafiz is a story of a couple facing the troubles of 2008 recession which hit the world badly. One of them finding a job in a foreign land and the consequences that follows. Here I am going to tell you about the things that worked in favor of the movie and the things that went against it. Talking about performances, well it has been such a relief to see Vidyut playing a common man in this flick, shedding his macho man image from his previous films. He plays a character who gets tensed, breaks down, gets into a panic attack and Vidyut has done a decent job in playing Samir. But one aspect where he seemed to be quite uncomfortable was in romantic scenes. Shivalika Obroy on the other hand has done a mediocre job here. It is not that she lacks the acting skills. Her previous release Ye Sali Aashiqui has been a testimony to that. In Khuda Hafiz she actually doesn't get anything to do as her role was written so shallow. Even though she is one who gets abducted, sold into flesh trade, drugged out of her mind, there is not a scene not even a minute devoted to actually humanize her but the highlight has been the supporting cast anu kapoor as usman has played the character so well that he is going to stay with you for a long time shiv pandit as faz abu malik has really got into the skin of the character all the other supporting cast has also played their part quite beautifully the next thing that has worked for the film but has gone unappreciated is its music by Mithun. Jaan Ban Gaye and Khuda Hafiz has been my favorite tracks from the movie and the beautiful lyrics have been penned down by both Mithun and Sayed Qadri. The best thing about the songs are that they have been so placed that it helps in taking the film forward rather than being a hindrance to the plot. Coming to the story, the story is something which lacks freshness the plot of khuda hafiz sounds exciting on paper we have seen a similar plot line in liam nissen's 2008 film taken where we saw liam make inroads into the underworld to find his missing daughter farooq kabir's film however isn't as sharply written as hollywood blockbuster right after quickly setting its premise the film slows down only to gain pace in the end the film is almost marred by some starkly visible loopholes Once again the leading lady is shown as a fragile figure who needs to be rescued talking about editing and direction a lot of work was to be done by the editor as the movie has a run time of more than 2 and a half hours and most of the time the pace of the movie is slow Farooq Kabir's direction is praiseworthy though not devoid of flaws one thing the director has all the praise is that treating the plot in a realistic manner as we don't see the protagonist demolishing the whole country single handedly like in bagi 3 but farooq has taken the audience through the troubles of a common man can go through once he is in a foreign land and wants to get the things done officially but farooq's last venture allah ke bande has been far far better than khuda hafiz and yes the action sequences were literally outstanding the fight scenes were raw chaotic and gory something that made me happy that finally finally a bollywood film is delivering action as raw as any other similar action thriller from bollywood the chase sequences were also beautifully shot even with vidyut tackling a couple of dozen men all at the same time the action doesn't seem totally unbelievable He is not putting off any helicopter kicks or leaping off cranes but stabbing a man with a fork or throwing chilies in the eyes of another. There is an impromptu non-choreographed quality to the fight scenes that brings some sense of reality. Now the question comes whether to watch it or not. Khuda Hafiz is not the movie you are likely to see trending on the Independence Day weekend. So if you have had enough of the overtly nationalistic jingoism drama this serves as a good breather watch it for vidyut jamwal's attempt to be a more wholesome actor and for the supporting cast who more than supports a clunky plot they are the real heroes of the film and the vidyut is the hero we need in these trying times that's all for now guys 
please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you